Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to Fritzy Family. Today we're going to be doing August 2017 favorites for the month. And I feel like I don't have a lot here that I've probably not talked about elsewhere. But, in, you know, you may not have seen those videos. So, um, yeah, the first thing is going to be this thing. And you, uh, some of you may know what this is. This is like a, a head tingler thing. And I can't do it right now because my hair's all done. I'm getting ready to go out. In fact, you'll probably see me in a few videos looking just exactly like this. And you know what the deal is. But this is just a couple of bucks. And me and Shy Guy both like these. Because it like, it you push it down on your head and it massages your scalp. I like using this thing a lot. I'll use it while I'm, um, you know, watching TV. I especially love doing it on the nights that I put oil in my hair. Anyway, so I really like these. They're only a couple of bucks. I think maybe it was $1.99 or something like that. But I love that feeling. And um, it's supposed to be good for your scalp. So, yeah, I like that. Um, I got one of these push things on that Exuviance thing I was using on my the back of my hands. Well, I still am. But anyway, I really like that. I like the way... You just press and it comes up out of there. And I got this brilliant idea, <laughs> like no one's ever had this idea before, where, oh my gosh, what if I filled this with purified water and I just left it sitting on my vanity and then when I wanted to like get ready, instead of getting up, taking the beauty blender, going in the other room, getting it all wet and stuff, what if I just went like this and got the thing wet right here at the vanity? I know. Genius, right? But I got that for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I like that. The next thing are concealers. These two are my favorite concealers now. Okay, so I don't think that I need to buy a high-end concealer anymore because I love them both. I actually like this one here for highlighting. It is the, well, now you'll see me using others because I got a bunch, but if I'm gonna rebuy one, okay, I really like this. I, well, I still like my Maybelline. Um, you know, the one that you twist with the sponge on the top and I always rip the sponge off. What is that? Age Rewind, maybe? <laughs> I like that one still. I might buy that one still. <laughs> but the point is, I'm having my highlighting and concealing needs met at the drugstore. And these two are from L'Oreal. So this one is uh, L'Oreal True Match. And I've got it in fair light, and I've been using this to highlight my nose and, you know, right under here with. And then this one here, I love this thing. This is the first, I think, concealer that I've ever bought that I actually use as a concealer. I like this. It's got a really nice light feel to it. You put that under your eyes. I just put a couple of drops, and with my fingertip, I go in. And I don't have a problem with it settling into lines. It blends in seamlessly. I love it. I'm hiding a zit right now from you. His name's David. <laughs> anyway, so whoops, this way. This one here, guys, and you already know that I love the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. So, gosh, L'Oreal hit it right out of the park. And I love both of these concealers from L'Oreal. I showed you how in a video that I'll link here, how to how I do my hair. Okay, well, that's this. I have never been so impressed with a hot tool as I am this, Myro Pure, and it was sent to me totally free. But even if you wanted to buy it, it's only something like 23 bucks, I think. It's got infrared. I'm just, I'm not gonna talk to you about it. I'll just link that video. It's where I was doing my hair with it if you wanna see it but I am truly in love with this hot tool. I think that it has a really nice cord that swivels around. It lets me use it as a curling iron and a flat iron. I don't get any unwanted bends or demarcations in my hair. I love this thing so much. So this would be a favorite and let's just stick it right there. With it came this. And without a doubt, this is the best pick thing I have ever had. I use this part to pick up my hair to style, and I also tease with it. Um, th then when I'm done, I use this end to rake all through it, and this end to pick and spray. I love this thing, and I don't know if you can buy it. I'll go look. Maybe I can find one, but it came with that iron. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I will cry if I ever lose this thing. It's a hard plastic and it's pink. <laughs> What's not to love about it? This came with, um, I bought, I wanted to be able to do my roots and not get it all over the rest of my hair. So I broke down and bought the little thing and I'll link it from Amazon. And it was a kit that had the bowl, like three different sizes of the brushes, um, a couple of combs and this. And when I saw this, I went, what the heck? Maybe you want to put that, I don't know what you would do with this. But I do now. <laughs> if I'm gonna use my Numi hair dryer, I use this. Because I never mastered using that ceramic brush I bought. I can't do it. I'm not coordinated enough to use the brush and like I mean it's really nice because it's got this metal turline or something. It was an expensive brush. Um so that it would heat it and curl it at the same time. I can't do it. I'm not that coordinated. So this, when I'm using that hair dryer, will let me pick up my hair and hold it up while, and I don't, I'm not doing any curling with it. I'm just pulling the hair straight out and making the roots so that when I get done, my hair is like standing all on end. <laughs> but I like that comb and that's what I use that for. Now, when I don't use that hair dryer and that comb, Guess what I can do now? Once my hair gets to like this length or just a little bit longer right before I cut it. You know how we beauty influencers, I guess you want to call it that, we influence you to buy things because we love them and you, you go, oh, well, I want to love that too. So then you go buy it. <laughs> Angie from Hot and Flashy, a couple of years ago, she did this video where she used this tool that saved her life. It saved her hair life anyway, okay? It was this. It was this John Frieda um, brush. Now, this is when my hair was long, okay? And, you know, with this, she was finally able to do the curly thing with the hairbrush and stuff like that. So I bought it. Wow, Angie says it's the best thing ever, and I can surely do it too now. No. It never made one flipping difference with my hair. Serious, my hair got caught in this thing and I hated it and I even asked her because it wasn't too many videos later I saw her with something else <laughs> and I was like what happened to you loving this <laughs> now I'm not gonna say anything bad about that because I've done that too something better comes along and you love it more but uh, yeah this was her the sa savior of her hair life and so I bought it and then it sat in a drawer forever because it didn't, I couldn't do it. It didn't work. It wasn't that I didn't have the coordination. It just flat out didn't work. Okay. My hair would get all tangled up in these bristles and it just it didn't give my hair enough volume. And I didn't know at the time that what I needed to do was chop off my hair. Once I chopped off my hair, then I could actually do something with it and give it some height and volume because it wasn't being weighed down by the weight of the hair. Now I can use this and it is a favorite of mine now. After several years, I've, I'm glad I didn't get rid of this. I put it in a couple garage sales. No one ever bought it. And I'm glad they didn't because even though I can't master the blow dryer and the, hot, the tool, I can do it with this. So if you've got short hair like mine, you can use this thing. So what you do is like, this is cool. So you put it on the high and you like do this number here, okay? And then hold it and hot shot. <laughs> Look at that stupid face. Um, I bet cool shot it. <laughs> it went the cool. You just push your thumb up and then hold it for a second and take it out and whoo. <laughs> and then you don't have to mess with the curling wand, you know. So some days I use this sunscreen. I know how boring, right? Okay, but first I was using this. This is the Josie Moran and it's an SPF 47 and I was using this under my makeup and on the backs of my hands whenever I was going to go somewhere. I'd run in here like a mad woman, squeeze it all over the back of my hands, you know, before I'd go outside. <laughs> and then I was, I found this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid Sunscreen. This is SPF 70 and I use this all the time. I still do use that, but not as much as I use this. This is a favorite um, all the time, not just this month. But this stuff, I mean, these sunscreens that we use, they cost quite a bit of money. But this is a favorite. I found this at the Dollar Tree. 
this is SPF 50 and I keep this in my car. This month what I've been doing is every single time I get in my car I just take this lid off okay and I go like that. <laughs> I put the lid back on it tight and then but it was only a dollar. It was a dollar. It's SPF 50 and I don't have to take my vanity, my makeup ones and lose them in my purse in the car. This is an oldie but goodie. It's my Mali um, eyeshadow stick in Saddle Shimmer. Now I have a couple by Avon that I like. I'm just going to use it really quick because I'm obsessed with it this month. I'm just going to come under here and add a little bit. It's so pretty. But these eyeshadow sticks are super, super good if you are in a hurry and you just want to quickly do your makeup. And then you can just take these shadow sticks and just put them on your eyelids and smudge them right up in, I mean, you can go as high as you want, just on your lid, under your eyelid. Love this. This, Like I said, this one is called Saddle Shimmer. And that is the, its color. And Avon doesn't sell them anymore. The Lash Paradise, which the next time I buy this, I will pay attention. This is waterproof. So I hate waterproof mascara. And I couldn't understand why is this stuff so hard to remove. And one day while I was putting it on, I saw right there it says waterproof. But I do love this mascara. Um, this is what the wand looks like. You know, basically I'm not going to stay on this too long because everybody has talked this thing to death. But I would agree, it does make a very beautiful lash without having to give it a ton of mascara. I mean, you don't have to keep building and building. There's been no lipstick, there's been no liquid lipstick that I have wore more. Now, part of that was because I was testing it. But, and I wanted to put it through everything before I said, hey guys, this is great. But the other part of that is I genuinely love these liquid lipsticks. So again, there's a video on that here. I won't sit here and talk about it forever. Sue W, one of the Fritzy family. There was a um, MAC lipstick thing going on uh, at Ulta where you buy one and you got one half off and I had some Ulta points. So I got some lipsticks, right? And I thought I was getting Velvet Teddy, but I didn't. I got Angel. I decided to keep it. But anyway, one of the lipsticks that I got uh, on her recommendation is called Plum Dandy. And this, guys, if you don't have this, she is absolutely right. You got to go get Plum Dandy. Plum Dandy is a mauve pink frost. Gorgeous. It's so pretty. I love this. Have been wearing that. Oh, I've worn it on its own on the top of the Maestro lipsticks. I've worn those Maestro lipsticks every way, every way you can. Um, but this is an absolute beautiful lipstick by MAC. These were sent to me by a company called Emily Cordon. Oh, okay. Now these are expensive. They are guys, but they're absolutely lovely. Mm, this one is a, this one's called number 72 cocoa white coconut cake. It's a balm. I put them on at night. This one here is called Lisa. Number one, Lisa Rose Champagne. And they're very luxurious. They're very, they come in a very luxurious packaging and the box is really wonderful. And I put them on and I was like, this kind of sort of feels like Aquaphor, but it's not. <laughs> the ingredients in them are not the same thing as Aquaphor. But yes, I've been enjoying these. If anyone from this company, Emily Cordon, is watching, thank you so much for this experience. Uh, I am not the kind of person who can afford to buy this but it is wonderful. It feels beautiful on your mouth. It says on it, a kiss full of lux and charm. And uh, it's the world's finest lip pot. I would say so. So yeah, if you're so inclined, you might want to give one of these a try. They have several kinds and it's a nice treat at bedtime for me. The last thing that I want to show you is a food. <laughs> we did this before and you guys were like, yeah, show us things that aren't uh, makeup stuff too. <laughs> okay. Well, you remember in the last one, I showed you guys these Le 
La Bandarita, I guess it is, a soft taco. It's low carb, it has uh, five net carbs in it. And you're like, okay, why are you showing us again? Okay, well, here's why. Because uh, the next thing, my next favorite, I discovered this, and now I love hummus, okay? But what I usually eat is red roasted pepper hummus. Love that stuff, okay? But this is a new one, taco-inspired hummus. It tastes like taco stuff. It tastes like you're eating taco stuff. <laughs> and I love this. So what I've been doing is, and it is so good. Okay, here's what you do, okay? So you take one of these, all right? And then you spread this on it. Now you can just eat it like that with some cheese in there cold if you want. I've done that. But I love making the Mexican pizza with it. And I showed that on Snapchat and everybody was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. So I just took one of these. I spread this taco hummus on it. It's got pico de gallo in it. And then I spread that all over it. And then on top of that, I put um, cheddar cheese. Uh, actually, I think it was a Mexican blend. Um, but I put that on there. And then I put some Peruvian cherry peppers, chop those up, and some banana peppers and chop those up and put them on the top. I would have put jalapenos if I had them, but I didn't. <laughs> so then you put that on the baking stone and you bake it for 12 minutes and on 425 degrees. And then when you get it out, it's so bubbly on the top. It is so, so good. It's like a Mexican pizza. And the tortilla is crisp. And then the cheese on top of the hummus is all melted on there. Mm, ugh, my mouth is watering. It's so good. Definitely a favorite. All right then, that wraps up my favorites for the month of August 2017. I want to thank you guys for being the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not part of the Fritzy family, there's a red subscription button. And if you'll click that, then you will be part of us and we will love you and, and we will give you virtual hugs. And, and sometimes we'll hang out together in live streams. And anyway, you'll know all about it because you will ring that bell right there. That green one. Yeah, you're going to ring my bell, ring my bell. And then you'll be notified every single time that I make a video. And then it'll come to your email and it'll tell you to say, Mary made a video. And then you'll go watch it. You'll scream and pull out your hair and go watch it. <laughs> well, probably not. But anyway, and if you guys aren't having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. And I out. First thing is this scary looking thing. It's a spider. It's coming after you with all of its legs. Look, it's like a granddaddy long leg made of steel. <laughs> and, and he just looks at me like, you're stupid. Because <laughs> I'm sitting here on the couch doing this and laughing. Because <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> I'm tickling myself. Help me. Why are you just sitting there? Why aren't you helping me? I always drop stuff on the floor and I'm the only one who ever picks it up. You guys don't ever do your part. <sighs> I'll talk about this in a second. After I have something else on the floor. Are you going to go after it this time or I got to do it again? I bet I got to do it again. You don't even bother to answer? How rude. And I had one heck of a time with it. And what is this? It says open. Oh, gosh. I guess you're supposed to clean that thing. <laughs> I never knew that. Look, it says right there, open. My car so I don't have to remove my vanity. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That was a dirty huggy wipe. <laughs> and the crust, or the tortilla. It's not tortilla! Stop saying tortilla! It's tortilla! <laughs> Snapchatters taught me that. It's tortilla. If you're not being a blessing... <laughs> if you're not being a blessing, by gosh, you better. <laughs> you just can't get this right, can you? Oh, Lord, I'm so hot. Somebody, please. My hands are hot. Everything's hot. I am hot stuff! <laughs> Please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye, you idiot. What? Yeah. Bye. You know what you can do? You can hit one of these videos too. Ah, hashtag world's greatest rainer.